Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Royal Luxury. So today is February, uh, sorry, terrible accident, February 20th, 2024. And this is gonna be the continuation from yesterday's video on uh, the game, A Sneaky Sasquatch. Um, <clears throat> I know I was talking about yesterday that um, the audio in this game, it's a little bit, it's a little bit too loud um, and I, I just, I was thinking about it after I filmed yesterday's video that I guess I will show you how loud it really is. Um, oops, sorry, I can't my chair though. <clears throat> so I know you can hear the sound effects and definitely my clicks every time I'm clicking because it's very loud. I know it could be a little bit annoying. I apologize for that. I swear I'm going to get, uh, hopefully I can get a mic. Uh, but eventually all these videos are for, uh, you know, um, testing some things that I'm going to be doing, some content that I want to put in, some learning curve. Bear with me, but later on we're gonna have some really good content in, in this Royal uh, ro uh, Royale Luxury um, channel. It's gonna be everything, fancy jets, exploring those, and how and how amazing these things are. They're like flying hotels. Uh, ooh, I guess I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I need to get some food. Uh, mansions, watches, cars, even cell phones. Who would have known you have some really expensive cell phones? Insane, thousands of dollars, right? But uh, but yeah, but back to the to the topic of the video uh, for this one, um, I'm gonna play the sound so you see how loud it is, and there's no way of it's either on or off. You can't just like just shut it off for a little or lower the volume on it. So it's the only annoying part when you're filming a video. If you're playing it on your own, it's fine. You can keep it on, but for the purposes of this video, I don't want to be shouting over just so you guys can hear me over the sound effects. Uh, I mean, not the sound effects over the music, but I'm gonna play it. That's pretty much what it sounds like. Sometimes it gets a little bit louder, especially if you're being chased. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna turn it off for now. Okay, much better. So if you guys are new to uh, the videos, I, uh, I'll say go watch the first one. So you can be a little bit slightly familiarized with what's going on in the game. But for those who are just jumping in and just want to roll with this part two. Uh, so basically you're a Sasquatch in a park and you're trying to get some food right here. This is like your your health, I guess, or your, uh, I don't even know what to call this. But I don't know what happens if it goes all the way down. I haven't tried it yet. But basically what you want to do is you want to start getting food. You want to steal from campsites. Um, I'm wearing a disguise right now so it's easier so that people don't get, um, so that people don't get suspicious of me. <clears throat> I know it's silly, but it's just a, a, a disguise. So that people don't get suspicious of me when I'm trying to steal their food and all that. Um, if I didn't have a disguise, he will look like this. <laughs> he will look like just like make a fur ball. Um, and then people will be alerted. And I'll show you what that, what that looks like here in a minute. Um, this is like a map that I'm trying to find. I guess some rich guy is supposed to be trying to buy the, the park so he can build some apartment complex. So, uh, <clears throat> so you're pretty much trying to find this big ma this map, these map pieces. I think I have four more to go uh, in order to find like this wealth or whatever that's going to allow me to help the park rangers to buy the park. The park rangers don't like me leaving like this general area of the woods going into the campsite, so they will chase you down if you scare the campers or they see you, uh, if you trigger the alarm, or you do certain things, and you can just try to run away, but they're really fast. So let's put that disguise back on. Um, these are other items that I have that I bought. <clears throat> so I have my golf clubs, so I can go to the golf course, and obviously fishing, and then to dig for treasure around. I'm gonna move this out of the way so I can see how many coins I have because I really don't know. 189, okay. Uh, no, I don't wanna exit that. I almost made a boo boo. Okay, so this rabbit is supposed to be, like, if I can beat him in some races, it's supposed to give me some running shoes. <clears throat> he tells you different areas where you're at. This one is really hard. Like, I tried it yesterday a couple times and, uh, it's kinda hard. Okay, so let's go to the raccoon. Start there. Okay, much better. So I think the let's talk to the raccoon. I think he said he will help. If 
Find the treasure map? Sure. I heard of the pieces might be flowing into the cave. Okay. For the cave, I do want to get this. Because it's really dark and it doesn't let you move around in the cave unless you have it. Eventually, I want to get the ski so you can go like in the ski slopes. And I'll show you that in the map what it looks like. Let's uh, get rid of this. So this is like the only annoying part that you have to keep coming in here and switch things over like different items. If you are within, let's say you go to the golf course and there's a golf uh, ball on the floor, I think you automatically could hit it and it triggers for you to get your golf club out so you don't have to necessarily go back and and, and start it, but um, <clears throat> like to equip it, but let's, uh, let's get there, let's try it out. It's just me assuming. So the campsites change all the time. Every time you go to sleep, like it has a timer. So at the end of the day, like it starts getting dark and, and it'll start prompting you to go to sleep. Um, every day, oh, disgusting, I did but I'll take it, it's still cool. And uh, it will prompt you to go back to sleep. So it, 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 it changes the map a little bit, not the map layout, but the, the items and the playable characters in between, because this wasn't there before. You know, I'm trying to sneak in because if you make a lot of noise, that guy that came out of there, remember if you guys saw it, they will, they will trigger their, uh, they will yell, and the park ranger will come. Right, I'll show you what that looks like if they see you. Oh, well, I'm wearing the disguise. Okay, let me take it off and I'll show you that. Silly me. I'll show you what I mean. See how they weren't alerted by me, but now they get scared, and then they'll, they'll tell on me. There you go, so that's what that looks like. <laughs> okay, here we just gonna eat. It looks funny chewing on this thing. <laughs> but it's a pretty fun game. I mean, it's pretty easy, other than all the clicking that you have to do. It's pretty easy to play the game. Um, there's some things that you kind of have to memorize how to get to certain paths, certain areas for the treasure or for the races. But, uh, oh, what happened to my health? Is it full? Oh, I assume it's full. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. No, I don't want to angle. Sorry. Okay. So, let's do some more food. So, everything you pretty much have to click and drag. It doesn't automatically, you just can't like click on it and that's it. You have to like click and hold to move items around. But let's go to the cave. And it's somewhere up in the north side of the map. Uh, not through there. Oh, you know what? Let's change into my disguise. I don't want to keep seeing that around. And those little outhouses and stuff, the bathrooms, those are just for you to hide. If they're chasing you, you just hide in there. They can uh, they won't mess with you. Oh, mm -hmm. by the way, the park rangers can still know if you are, oh my god, America. They can still see, identify you as not being like a, a human. They can see right through your disguise, so you have to be very careful, so that's a good thing to see. I'll show you the map real quick here. <clears throat> Again, so this is where I live and you can upgrade this. I just found that, that out Recently that you can upgrade this. There's different areas that you could go around the map and it has like little hidden Stuff like little hidden hidden paths that they don't show you in the map um, I guess I should go over here and try to try to find some treasure but there's different areas around the map that that are hidden and you can use that to upgrade your house so there's like some ducks or something somewhere around here, I believe, um, around this area. And there's like a whole crew of ducks with yellow hard hats. And once you give them coins, uh, no, you bring uh, you well, you do pay for certain things that they could do for you. Uh, they'll do that, and then if you go to the lumber yard and you t you steal like a pickup truck, which I bought some keys from the raccoon yesterday that you could borrow pretty much uh, cars from from the park. You could go to the lumber yard and you could pick up some wood and then you bring it back to the ducks and they can upgrade your home and, and 
and all that fun jazz. So this is pretty much just a layout, a rough layout of the map. I don't know if it will give you like a more detailed map later, but for now, that's what I'm working with. And uh, yeah, so if they if the if the park rangers catch you, they pretty much push you. They don't push you, but you kind of respawn behind these yellow uh, flags. Those are like the markers where I shouldn't go past. <clears throat> so if you're behind those and the park ranger is close by, he's not going to do anything to you. And you don't lose any health as far as I know. You don't lose really anything if they catch you. It's just the inconvenience of having to move back from where you are. All the way down. So over here is where that cave is. <clears throat> I wonder if this is something I can interact with. I guess not. Mm, so weird, it's like a random white spot there. So I'll have the flashlight. So let's go in the cave. Oh, it automatically spawned my flashlight, good. So if you didn't have the flashlight, it won't let you get past like pretty much this rock right here. You're kind of like locked in this general area. But uh, let's go explore. It's my first time in here, see what's up. Okay, that's good. Probably gonna need that for some. go left down this path and see where it takes me okay let's dig it out hopefully it's like a they have different color bags of coins some of them are green those are the good ones that they give you a lot of coins just like that one so you get a whole bunch of coins and then you have brown ones that just like they're like small bags So I guess nothing else. Let's see. Let's go up. Oh, back to that. I guess I have to, oh, okay. So I guess there's a path that I could probably blow up here soon to get some dynamite. Maybe it's plugged in already. Okay. Oh, maybe I should have went to see where it went first. Oh my god. Okay. So I guess I need to find some dynamite first to blow up that path. Let's go find some uh, dynamite. Let's see what's up here more further north. Oh, that's good. So these bags, they have a lot of stuff. Yeah, oh yeah. You got a lot of good coins. And you pretty much need to get these raccoon coins so you can buy different things. Oh, that's 
pretty cool. You get to see the jacket on her like that. Okay. Guess I can't sleep there. Maybe I was not gonna interact with it. Okay. It's a weird little Halloween room in there. Okay, dynamite, perfect. Curious to see what is down here. Um, I think did I come this way? I believe I did. Yeah. Let's see what's over here. I'm just curious. Oh, nothing. Okay. Well, at least we know. So let's see what's further up. Oh, that's where I was. Silly me. Okay. As it's a pretty well-made game. Uh, I'm pretty surprised by the, I mean, I'm not surprised, but it's impressive how these games, it's like in the Apple Arcade. So, and I'm playing this obviously on my on my Mac, on my iMac. Um, I have a little bit of an older model. <clears throat> so, uh, so it's a little bit, sometimes it doesn't struggle, but it's a little bit weird. Um, like it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't want to do certain things. <laughs> I need to get an upgrade. But I mean, it works fine for everything else, but for these games, um, sometimes it could be a little bit of, a, a, of an issue. If you have a lot of programs, like especially like if I'm recording my screen and all that, it could be a little bit of a, of a hassle. But, but overall, uh, these games are really well made. The graphics are really good. And the good thing about doing this, I could continue on you know, playing here and then I could continue the game in my in my laptop if i wanted to or your phone or or tablet you can continue the game and it's a very long game i think all the games in the apple arcade are fairly long game it's not like the regular apps that you download and and you know and just it's not like a candy crush but it's just like one thing there's a lot of different elements that you can do in these uh games let's do that again Hopefully I wasn't too loud for you guys. <laughs> oh good, got a piece of the map. I think this is what I was talking about. So, piece of the treasure map, three more to go. Let's go out. So when it's at night, um, I bought the map from the raccoon that I could just pretty much um, fast travel all the way back so you don't have to waste time like running all the way back going through the map. There's nothing you could do at night. As far as I know, I don't know if there's like a creature or something that's going to try to eat me if I try to stay up too late, but let's go fast forward back to the house. Um, let's go eat real quick. I don't know if it helps. I, I've never really paid attention to eat before you go to sleep. I think it does for the next day because every time you sleep and you wake up, obviously it consumes some of your energy. Um, I'll call that this the energy pie, I guess. It is the energy circle. So you can eat like all this stuff. He just eats the whole thing with the rock. <laughs> So if you have extra food, the bear, it has that dollar sign, he will buy any extra food from you depending on what it is. Sometimes it lazily wakes up and just gives you, you know, if you get fish, then he'll give you more money for fish. It's always good to fish. And uh, so you can earn more points from the bear. Kind of gives you like a receipt, I guess, of what you sold the bear. It's kind of funny. It's a duck that I helped yesterday to get his hat back. This huge hat. Let's go to sleep. 
Hopefully it's not a rainy day because sometimes like it switches between being sunny and, and it just straight goes into a rainy day. And uh, it could be a little bit more. Oh good, it's a good day. Sorry, my phone is going off. So let's get rid of that flashlight. Let's put my hairy arm back. Let me see, there's a fish in here? No, it's not a fish. Oh, there is one. Let's, let's so you guys can see what it looks like to the fish. It's not that complicated. It's just... Oh, there you go. And then once you get it, you just gotta... You gotta start clicking and... You got a fish. You got a minnow. Alright, let's see how much the bear will give me for a minnow. Probably not a whole lot. Probably give me like one point or something. Probably be like, why are you bothering me with this? <clears throat> oh, wow, 10. Okay, you see how I got 12 for all those items yes, uh, the day before, and then now I get 10 for one tiny little thing, so that's good. So it's worth it to, to go fishing. There's some, in some of the rivers and stuff, there's some really big fish. Those you don't want to, uh, you don't, you don't, you can't mess with them because they, they're for some. I don't know if you be able, if I'm gonna be able later to upgrade to a to a different um, fishing rod, but he just like runs away with your bait, and you can't do anything. So he's gonna be in the golf course area, the rabbit for the foot race. I'm gonna try to go all the way across the map now. Oh, let's check this trash. You know what? No, let's get some quality food. Let's steal from these people. He always has good food. Yeah, let's get some of these patties. The only thing I will say, it could get a little bit repetitive with having to come in here and steal food, but... I mean, it's it's worth it. It's like whenever you play like a RPG. I mean, this is an RPG, yes, but whenever you're going and you're playing like all these other console RPGs and you're just like looting these random armor and, and and stuff. Like I don't know if you guys play like Assassin's Creed or whatever, and you you, just, you go through your items, you randomly find like broken broken necklace or or, or broken. I don't know, a stick or teeth or cracked skulls or weird stuff that you just collect and weird toys that you just sell for one silver coin or whatever it is, the currency in the current game that you're playing. So it's the same thing pretty much. Let's go up here. Oh, it's supposed to be spam or something like that. Can you come and you can like dance with them. <laughs> he gets that too. Like old man getting there, or old lady. Oh, there's a fish here. Let's go fishing real quick. It's really beneficial to get all those uh, points. So you just wait. You don't have to do anything special. There you go. And then you start clicking and say bye. Yeah, no, no. At least we know we got 10 points. Looks like it. Some of these, like the bigger ones, you kind of have to move it before they bite. Oh, the red one. Trout. Good. Oh, park right here. Let's go take these, uh, bags. You don't have to be perfect with it. You gotta just get it closer to the, like, close to the general area of where the backpack is and it automatically just drops. Let's go eat this this whole can. Like, so <laughs> That's so funny. Oh no! Let's go eat the fish. I want to sell it to the bear. Nice.
Tá? Keep going all the way across. If I had a car, this is where you will go. Oh my god. <clears throat> if I had a car, that's where you that, that's where you steal a car and you just keep driving and it takes you pretty much to the golf course. I'm trying to get, I can't remember if it was through here. Um to this old man, I think it's through here. Uh, no, it is not. There's like this guy, and he, uh, he helps you, oh, there's no fishing. Right there. So he pretty much helps you off oh, fish, I guess, and I think that's how I get, I upgrade, I think that's how I upgrade my, my fishing rod, maybe. You don't have to get the fish in the circle, but the closer you are to the fish, obviously they're gonna be more interested. Let's see if I pull it in, maybe go by it. You see? Yeah, I think that's the trick. Oh, good job. Let's go got grabbing my nose over here. Let's get some more coins. See, a little ones, they just go straight for it. They don't care. miss it uh you have to watch another video this bear he was uh he was sleeping somewhere on this side and you kind of bring you bring him a fish and then he gets up he's like oh i'll help you and then he'll come over here and he'll start messing with bees because he likes honey obviously bear and then there's like a piece of the map laying out right there and you get to grab it so let's go get in a car I could travel a little bit faster. There's always like a park ranger like sleeping in there. Actually, let's call, let's use this phone. I remember the number from yesterday. And I think, uh, let me see, you insert the coin. Okay, you pick up the phone and then you dial five, 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 five six, seven. And there's like a poster somewhere that I will show you guys where there's a lost dog. And it says call for more information. I found the dog yesterday and I petted him for a little bit. But it didn't fill up his uh it didn't fill up his uh his meter. Whew, sorry, my dogs are going crazy. I have to go. I have to go correct them. <laughs> um let me see. I'm still looking for my dog. I heard my dog was spotted in the ski resort today. Okay, so now he's gonna be even further up. Wow. Okay, so you just pretty much call that number and I'll show you the poster. It's this one right here. And obviously that's how the dog looks like. So the dog, when you're in the general area, the dog will come up to you and he will just like uh, interact with you. Let's take this one. This one is a nice one. You gotta be careful because they will chase you, even in the car. Yep, just like that. I hate trying to drive without the, the, the joysticks or the, the controller. So let's go in here. Let's get out of the car. I can't remember if you could walk down here. Yes, you can. Yeah, I think this is where I want to go, yes.
to people that take fish seriously. See what's up. Okay, oh wow. So, sunfish, man, I had one of those yesterday and I ate it. Suckerfish, crappy. Catfish, oh man, there's a lot of different fishes here. Lord. Crawfish. A goldfish? Everywhere but rare. <laughs> Giant legendary fish. I think I know what that studio is. Okay. I wonder if I can steal this thing. Oh no, he comes right out. Okay. Let's see what kind of fish I can get from here. to get like in a boat or something there's like a, a paddle that you can buy oh, it's a paddle that you can buy and kind of just like take you into deeper waters okay i think i already have one of those but I'm just gotta get all the fishies here let's take all of them You know every time you get something that you haven't returned to, so that's helpful. You don't have to remember all these different fishes that you don't like, that you don't know if you brought it already to them or not. Cool. Hey, 30 coins, I'll take it. Okay, so it's good. It's a good thing I came down here then. There's like random stuff that you can buy, like a bicycle, you can just keep it, I'm pretty sure you just keep it at your house. But uh, let's go, let's try to go to the, uh, get to the ski resort. Actually, it's kind of cool. Oh my god, I'm terrible dragon. I haven't interacted with that bus over there, I think it probably just fast travels you places. I'm doing way better driving than I was yesterday. Oh my god, as I crash. Oh lord. Okay. There's a sawmill. I'll show you where you guys, where you could get like lumber and stuff. here and then they'll load it up for you back to those yellow flags back here. You just let them run away and then you can just 
do your own thing. I think my car is probably still in there. Oh no, he took it. Oh man. Steal our car and let's drive to the course. It's getting kind of late. So I think everybody like it's getting darker already outside. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, I've never seen it snow. Okay. Interesting. So you can tell the difference is truck is much slower than the sports car that we had. Oh, let's get out of here. See, these areas right here is where you can get treasure from or coins. So you always want to dig those up. Don't pass up the opportunity to get some coins. Oh, I never got a blue one. Large sack of coins. Oh, wow. Whoa, okay. Love it. Everything is gonna be closed, and then I'll be, well, we'll get right back. He kind of just runs away. <laughs> Let's go eat real quick, and then I'll sell the rest of the bear. Sunny. I'm gonna try to get in that bus. I think the bus probably fast tracks me to a lot of these places. Let's just go talk to her for, for funsies. Oh, you see how it changes now there's a bear here? See what he says. to sleep in a move, sponge so needs to push there. Okay. So I guess okay, I guess you just muscle your way through it. Ah It's so funny how the bear could just like lay there and you know, the park rangers don't chase them, the Sasquatch, they're like, get out of here. Let's go get some energy up. Let's eat a whole lot of ketchup, you know, because why not? Oh, I thought he was going to eat that hot dog too at the same time. <laughs> Let's see. Need 
to find a car so we could move quickly. It doesn't let you fast travel anywhere else. That's the little bit of annoying part, but it's okay because, you know, like I said, it helps you with time. Let's see if these fishies. Maybe I get something special. Oh wow, that was a quick bite. Oh, uh, just another trout. I guess you don't get like random fish. I'll take another one just because I'm here. Oh. Is it too close to me? Oh, I got him. <laughs> It was a trap. Maybe I'm a little bit upstream, maybe I can catch a different fish. I don't really need anything to do that. I haven't gone before. Oh yeah, there is. Oh wow. You see, there's like a bunch of little hidden areas here. That are worth exploring. I'm glad that I have a flashlight because it wouldn't have let me run in there without it. down here real quick and see if I can get like any different like a different fish or something. I'm just curious now. It's not like a, a stupid minnow or something. Maybe I can get like that rare gold fish out of it. Another minnow. Get her hurt hurt me. It looks like a minnow, but let's see. Maybe it's not. Oh, big fish is coming. Okay, big fish ticket. Ooh, we don't have this. Yes, bass.
Pam 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 Oh yeah, that's like... Oh, I don't know. He's always crossing the street. <laughs> He's like, my truck! Let's go to the fisherman real quick. I've never been injured by a car before. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, he was all limping. Trash fish. Can you imagine I pull up a goldfish right in front of his house? That super rare one. It's probably gonna be in one of the hidden, like one of the tiny little ponds around the game. Sunfish. No, I want to keep all the fish from there. Why is it really? Take me really quick to the to where I need to go, probably for a fee. Oh, okay. Great. I'll pay that. Great. So it takes you straight up to the ski resort. That's very convenient, honestly, because it takes forever to drive all the way up here. To the lodge, are you checking in? Sure, you have reservations. Let me see. Oh, I don't think I have reservations. I'll see any reservations for today, are you sure? <laughs> Let's see what it says. Ah, <laughs> room two is available. Would you like to book here? Yes. You can just stay up here in the ski lot and just pay and uh, obviously and you stay with this person. You ever wonder why there's a raccoon? Why there's a raccoon in the coins we use? That's funny. See if we can find the dog. Obviously, he's not going to be back there. See what's in there. 
Oh, they're duck. Let's eat one. What is that? I don't know what a tuck is, but I guess he needs it back. I guess we'll, we'll know when we see it. Oh, it's ice fishing. Oh, I scared him away. I went in the water. No. Little Sasquatch with his big feet. No, he went away. <laughs> Why? Come on, come fish. You know you're interested. Okay, let's pull this out and I'll let's go further out. Oh, maybe I can get that fish's attention. Yes. Let's go. I'm fishy, 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 fishy. What are you? Oh, an eel. Or, or not an eel, lemon ring. Looks like an eel. Okay. Let's go for you. Oh, that's quick. A minnow! What's the minnow doing over here in the middle of this lake? starting to get dark so I feel like all the characters are gonna slowly start disappearing. my campsite and whenever I start the day I will be right here. Small sacrifice. The tickets for the chairlift. Events. Maybe the dog is gonna be all the way on top with the chair with the chair lifts and all that. I'm not sure what's all the way over here. Oh, okay. Your podium. I saw somewhere like you could do like snowball fights, or maybe that's where they announce the winners, or maybe after you go skiing or something. Go all the way back and let's take the sleep in the sleep it off and then we'll be here right next to the hotel. Is this the lodge? No, this is the shop. I think the lodge is coming up. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm gonna put a pause to this for now. Uh, catch me in the next video. We're going to continue uh, this uh, journey and hopefully we can find that dog. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>